So welcome everybody, this is Do You Even Star Made, the podcast. Today I'm with Rybin, I am Kyle, and Omega Cybrin. I'm Tamino Summer, and this is a Mushroom Fleet presentation. So, we've got a couple of things on the list, and um, we're going to be moving through them pretty quickly. So, new planets. Um, the logic isn't working on them yet, but it is coming. Uh, planet calls are lava. They're obviously 12-sided dodecahedrons with pentagonal plates now. Uh, the new world generation is being worked on to tweak the bugs you'll see in generation. Uh, and the gravity transition is almost, I'd say it's pretty flawless when you're in, when you're in astronaut, astronaut mode, moving from plate to plate. So uh, what do you guys have to say about the new planets? Oh, Gotta be some fun. mental skid racing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not I love new gravity well. I think they're uh, they're they're kind of something we needed, um, you know. And and I will say that they do make things a lot more interesting. Unfortunately, building on them right now because of that no pointer glitch is very very difficult. Yeah. But it's still totally worth it. It's a lot of fun, um, and you get to you get to do some very interesting things that obviously you couldn't do before. Uh, each plate is obviously a little bit smaller than a regular planet, well, about what, half the size, but overall you get a lot more surface area. Yeah. So, you can do a lot more. Oh yeah, it's like 12 times half is 6 <laughs> times. Yeah, something like and that. The surface area is winning formula if you want to have more space. Yep. Um, the only thing that I'm a little bit, I mean, I'm both in a positive and negative on it, is uh, each individual plate is sort of considered a planet. So if you wanted to, say, have somebody build on a plate, you can restrict them to that one plate, and they can can get, you know, they won't be able to build on any of the other ones. But it's a, a slight problem because neither can you. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't have a build block on one plate and build on another. So yeah. that's a little bit... It's, it's a little tedious, but I'm sure we'll either learn to deal with it. It's not a big deal, it's just something that I notice. And the implementation yeah. could change, too. Yeah, um, and I, I think it's because they're almost acting like docked entities, like turrets. Yeah. Omega? Oh yeah, actually Sam's Raven is just, we gotta learn to play with them now again. But, uh, you know, they're very promising. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm loving the lava effect as well. That yeah. was an interesting feature. I didn't expect to get such a cool animation. It reminded me of Descent. It was an old game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the way it animates. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, it was great. But, um, it was a good time. Yeah, so yeah, I'm absolutely loving the new planets. Um, done a lot of flying around velocity orbits you can do, um, which is really fun. So. So yeah, anybody else got anything to go on that? And then we can move on. I think it'd be cool if you could like blow up the lava core in the middle and make all of the plates just like separate and fly off into space. That is planned. actually planned and that's why they're all yeah. individual entities. So it's funny you should say that because in the news yep. post, Schema confirmed the higher power weapons that were able to do that in future, far future plans. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. I can't wait. So we'll move on then to the... Uh, what happens if you actually dig through a plate? Like if you dig all the way through, do you end up getting solid. stuck in it Yeah, all? it's solid. We already... Um, it's solid. Basically me and Prime tested that out. You can stand on it at the moment. And it doesn't kill you like lava yet. So I'm guessing it'll have some kind of effect if you get close to it. That's what I'm guessing, but it's not... Yeah, because I'm just thinking you'll be stuck in 12 um, different gravity fields in the middle of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, so let's move on to the logic get system. So the new logic system has the or, and, not, and delay blocks. Obviously you've got the uh, activation block as well. And then you can, at the moment, uh, in the current experimental build, you can activate lights, weapons, and doors. Only the white lights. Um, everything's confirmed, which uses R in astronaut mode. Um, and, um, yeah. Let's talk about a few things before I do those other bullet, bullet, bullet points there. So, Sounds good. Guys, logic system. I heard oh. it was really complex. It's fun. Um, it's, it's different. It's different than, uh, than what people will be used to on another voxel game that's very, very popular. But um, 
it's not bad, you know. It's a little bit, it, it's a little bit to get used to, but it's really, really good. And uh, yeah, we were sitting there going, well, there might not be a way to do some uh, some of the more complex things, but um, Skylar proved us wrong, and we can move on to that whenever. And, and yeah, so oh, that'll yes. be, it'll be a lot of fun. Yes, I think so it's going to be worth it. Worth mentioning at that point is uh, Skylord Luke's managed to build a 64-bit RAM computer with a keyboard and display already, just using the blocks that we have now. Um, there are lots of Logic Systems videos on both Ryben and my channels, so if you want to go and check those out, there's a lot of stuff going up. And all I can say is, it's logical, bro. Smart ships are in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. There's, there's a lot you can do with them, too. Automated doors. Yeah, gravity elevators that are automated and will stop after a certain point. All sorts of crazy stuff. Lights turning on when you enter the room. Yup. Gravity, yeah, yeah, automatic doors that go on when you come in and out, nice and easy. Automatic Yo. gravity. You can make traps. I mean, I was working on a um, friend or, you know, the heat seeker missile. So you have a whole bunch of weapons computers hooked up to a whole bunch of blocks like the null pointer, but instead of turning on a light, it fires a different weapons computer from that block. So then you effectively have, like, you know, on a submarine when all the doors go open, 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 and then all the missiles come out, one, two, three, four, five, like a fireworks display. And then, of course, they all just seek. And it got me thinking, because the small ones, they're perfect for interior defense, because they're small. They don't travel very quickly. You know what I mean? And they seek They're not out, all, all that powerful. They, they're not all yeah. that powerful, and they seek out players. It's enough to kill a player, and you can have them in your corridors. So, <sighs> you, yeah, because I was thinking there's a way to switch over the door sensors from being door openers to being missile firers that are built into the corridors. Yeah. So then you can have a switch which actually turns your uh, door system into a security system you know very true yeah very I, nice. I know my big project so far has been more visual stuff like um, like I've got a cannon that fires after the lights go all the way to the end of the cannon mm. stuff like that it was it's fun but it's like it's nothing particularly special in my opinion. I think once the genie's out the bottle we're gonna see a lot of creativity exploding oh yeah has anybody else got anything to say on logic before we uh, move on? I still think it's going to be a little bit too complex for me, but I reckon that's my fault. I have played a lot of Call of Duty, so my brain is kind of broken. Well, <laughs> trust Mushroom Fleet, there will be plenty of tutorials. They've already been made, and they're going up slowly over time. So you're going to see those, and we'll stay on top of it, of course. Um, right, so are we done for that one? Yeah, I think we are. So. We're at time. Okay, so basically let's move on. Now this is an interesting one. This is a uh, by request. So we have a new weapon system coming and this is going to be a focus on the rate of fire. So specifically with an unlinked cannon in the new combo system, a slow rate of fire favours depth and strategy whereas a faster rate of fire makes life easier on new players owing to the fact that you know accuracy is less of an issue and, and various factors so what should it be a one to five second reload you know what should it be one two three four five i mean for a cannon one 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 second reload so it's yeah, like bang, it's five bang, bang yeah you'd think at, for an auto cannon it should yeah, be. it should be quick. Well, that, that's what AMCs are, right? True, yeah. but I mean they're they're antimatter cannons. They're, true. I mean they're meant to shoot slow until you do the you know AMC linked with an AMC. That's so it. maybe one to one point five, depending on the strength. I mean, that's kind of the hard part is is how does it scale? Yeah. So you know, obviously, right now AMCs, the more you have, the faster they're going to fire, and yeah. So. I'm thinking somewhere like 1 to 1 1.5, which gives new players, you know, something that's going to fire fast enough that they can take something out before they learn the linking system. Yeah. But at the same time, um, is going to 
make it so that when you do link them together, it's going to be a noticeable difference. Because mm. this is the thing. If you make it a five second reload, doubling it is still two and a half seconds. So if you make yeah. it one, then it's half. So I can see the point. You know, if you want if you want the double to be a second, then obviously the basic unlinked would have to be two, you know? So it's interesting. Yeah. I mean obviously if, if the power was making up for that two second reload time, I'd be fine with that. Because it just means I gotta nail my shots. You know, I think yeah. that, I think that if it's got a really, if a five, if you've got a five second reload, it should have, it should be, you know what I mean? It should be quite a powerful weapon, but to make up for that loss of deep of uh, rate of fire. That's been massive. Yeah, they should powerful. be capable ship guns. So it's difficult to say from uh, what it would be. It's interesting. Um, we are obviously live for this podcast, and so we do get the occasional uh, comment come through. And um, someone said use a sigmoid function. I don't know what that is, but um, we'll leave it in there for those people. We'll leave that it do. in there for people that do. Yeah. So um, I go with one, <laughs> but that's because I like. Yeah. I like the pretty. I like lots of things flying around on the screen. Yeah. But if there's another weapon combination that does that, then I can see why it would need to be more. Is is the obvious answer. I would go with one unless they're planning to up the strength on the, the individual shots, right? Yeah. So if the plan is to make the AMC cannon more powerful on its own, now obviously it won't be as powerful as it as linked, mm. but if it was more powerful on its own, and then so that you know when you hit every 1.5 seconds, it's a worthwhile hit. Yeah. And then when you when you up it or link it, maybe it will. Uh, up the speed by, you know, double the speed and do 0.75 of the damage so that you're still getting an overall bonus, but at the same time, you're you're not, it's not completely out of the way. Right. Anyone else got anything to say? We have five seconds yeah. left. Yeah, if the bonus <laughs> is too big with linking them, then what's the point of having the unlinked version even work? Because if the bonus is too big, no one's going to use it. Well, What's that's the, the thing. We don't know, but that's that's okay. We've got some interesting points put out there. So in the interest of getting on to the next subject, let's move on now. So we've got the next section is going to be... We're going to be moving through these quite fast, obviously. So uh, thanks for listening as well if you're on SoundCloud. Uh, we've got a couple more subjects to get through. So, uh, yeah, thanks for this, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. There's going to be regular releases. So... This one is the section about community love. We want to do a feature on the top 10 servers. We want to do tours, and I'm willing to do video ad creation. So I'm going to reach out to everyone in the top 10 on the StarMade-Servers list, and uh, we're inviting all of you guys into our team speak so you can take part in some of these podcasts and the discussions that we have on, uh, on, the, uh, on the various streams we do. Because, uh, to be honest, I love what the other servers are doing. Some of them have got a really unique take on it. And uh, they're totally welcome. So, you know, I'd like to think that we're welcome there and vice versa. So, like I say, it's sort of like extending out that in the interest of progress. Progress, yeah. So, like, you guys, what do you think about that? I think it'd be awesome, especially now that we're moving to the new server and we can handle more people. Yep. Um... You know, have you know? Maybe we'll host an event. Their server versus ours for some crazy thing. I think it'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Yeah. In a totally Server. friendly and non. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. Because right. we love doing events. So uh, there'll be mushroom invasions planned on all the servers in the most friendly uh, way possible, and a very organized way if their admins are able to get in touch with us. So we're not just gonna bum rush you all. <laughs> we're not just going to turn up with 30 players like hey and start griefing you guys that's not the plan at all the plan is to come with a large group of our Aww. pilots yeah <laughs> sorry sorry Kyle so we're not going to do that we're going to turn up see the sights we hope um, make a nice video and put that into your fleet ad uh, which will obviously go up on Star Made News so um, there's that 
Also, we plan to do more spotlights on community created mods and texture packs, and we'll be taking those directly from the community content section. So, if you are one of those people, get onto the new website and upload it because it will get done. Oh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> and uh, I'm looking forward to that stuff because I mean, that's right up my alley is seeing what other people are going to come up with. Mm. Yeah, I'll personally be content. keeping an eye out on the uh, Crusade texture pack. Mm. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm, Crusade's full conversion. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Pretty much. By the time he's finished, it's going to be a full conversion mod. <laughs> he's done a great job on that. And also, of course, that goes without saying, the immersive blocks conversion, um, um, uh, texture pack and mod. That's a beautiful little thing as well. Um, we loved the Sunworld server. We went on a trip there, and they've got a working Stargate system. Already works. Yeah. So definitely very want to check that out. I couldn't join you guys that time. And obviously, Doomsider has his hardcore server running, and the details for that are available on the on the uh, forums. So, I think that's pretty much. Anyone else want to add to that? Um. But the only thing I'm thinking is, is with mods, I reckon at some point they're going to become redundant, because if a mod's good, I reckon that some, somehow it's going to be whacked into the game. Well, it depends, and it's not really going to be a mod, it's going to be a gameplay mechanic. Well, it, it depends, doesn't it? Certain things will always remain decorative mod blocks, you know, but there's a system for that in the editor, in the launcher, so... Yeah, yeah like I can see endless uses for texture packs and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so moving on, we have an announcement to make. Uh, the Mushroom Fleet server has been upgraded. It's um, been a long time coming, and in the last three months, we've gone from a 6 gigabyte VPS with the smelter onto a dedicated server with a top web host. And uh, they're giving us 24 gigabytes of RAM, so we can put 20 gigs into the actual server and um, we've got good contention ratios on our switches and everything's looking really nice so with that being said it's going to make a big difference to us with continuity um, and our bandwidth allowance should be slightly higher than we were expecting we'd get so come to the G plus for the address because we are currently testing and if you were already on the whitelist you should be able to log in so uh, if you like I say go to www.mushroomfleet.co.uk you can register your IGN there we will be doing a batch of those soon um, and it, like I say if you're already a listed pilot you can already join right now and we encourage you to spawn in a large ship and test out the game obviously any problems please post them up because we're giving our feedback straight back to the dev team so that's should be as preferred yeah because I'm a tester now isn't that fun um, <laughs> So yeah, does anyone want to say anything about that? Oh, I've been testing some. Ooh, tell us. Skylord. Tell us. How is so, it going? Well, uh, we tested with the Spirit of Fire, and we had some fights against my frigates, and it all went, you know, surprisingly smooth. Really? I heard you did some collision tests with Kyle as well. Ah, uh, yeah. He uh, made a new ship for Imperium. Yep. It was about, oh, I think it was over 100. Yeah. And he crashed it into my 800 meter ship and it like hit it instead of warping in steam. So it just bounced off with no um, no clip problems? Yeah, no no clip. It just yeah, and you know, I went into it as hard as I could while spiralling and just kept ramming into it trying to get underneath his turrets. And it just didn't work? Nope. Yeah, then it crashed. But like the ship I was hitting it with, it's pretty <laughs> sizable. It's 161 meters long, like mm -hmm. 80 meters wide. It's got 14 turrets. And we're not with encouraging. With a massive 13,000. Yeah, just for the record, we're not encouraging this as a method of gameplay on a regular thing. <laughs> we no. just we do do we do the tests to see how it is, and because we already know there's a 70% collision uh, performance improvement coming, so. It's interesting to see what to see what she can do with what we have now. So that's nice. Yeah, and trust me, uh, once we're done, I mean, I'm on the new server right now, and we'll be we'll be testing some things. Indeed, we will. So we've got about one minute left to talk about the new server. Anybody else got anything to share about that? 
I think one of the biggest awesome things about the new server is going to be the fact that um, we can have several StarMate installs, several universes right there. Yeah. So if we want to run a, an event, you know, we can actually shut down the server without losing any of the data yeah. from the other server. Bring up another one for, say, four or five, maybe ten hours or something like that for yeah. a massive ship battle. Yeah. And when we're done, we just say, okay, now start the other one up again. And nothing's changed. And I think that's probably going to be one of the greatest things for us. Agreed. Agreed. It's going to make events so much easier to, to do. Oh yeah, definitely. And we'll be able to uh, to do a lot more stuff with it. I, I think that's going to be really nice. And if I'm right, we could almost run two servers off of that thing, right? We we, we could definitely run two. We're not going to, though, so we're going of to course. do it as you said. I mean, in theory, we could run several. we got two IP addresses, so it would be easy. But then we can use the same one for a different port. So this is the thing. Yeah. Um, I, 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 yes, it can be done, but we probably won't, just on the basis of smoothness. And the fact that, as you say, we can just rebuild it and just turn exactly. off the main and go on to something else. I can be building it while everyone's playing. It's excellent. So, okay. Um, that just about wraps up the new server announcement. <clears throat> so then, now we move on to the G Plus community. That is found when you go to mushroomfleet.co.uk, currently www.mushroomfleet.co.uk. Uh, much gifts, such awesome. In the last three months, we've gone from 300 members to 1,200 oh, members? Geez. Something like that. It's yeah. something huge. Which is amazing, and we hope that the numbers just keep on growing, because now we've built in ourselves the support for everyone to play better together, so that with a you know, better performance. So it's going to be a better experience for everybody. Got to thank everybody on there. We did a sort of drive to pay for the extra costs in moving. And uh, we did it all in about six hours, which was amazing. Um, and I couldn't have asked for more. So thank you to everybody that spared some money to donate for that course, because it helps us carry on and give everyone a better, better experience, like I say. Um, also, there have been explosions in the fleet screenshots and GIFs area. Um, and also in the members on our YouTube list. So YouTubers that record on the fleet server. And uh, we will be doing some shout outs to them in a minute. But um, if anyone wants to say anything about the community now, I've got a Oh, I've bit definitely of time. got something. Cool. So, just got to remember for, for us, uh, you know, Y Hole is illegal. And the only reason I'm bringing this up is because we have a great community in that they say okay, and they literally create two completely unique sites oh, dedicated. Yes. To Y Hole, in the, yeah. you know, one where you can buy it, and one where there are actual mini games for for Y Hole, and that's just absolutely hilarious. I mean, and that's a, a sign of a good community, you know, when when people are like, yeah, all right, <laughs> I'll I'll play. put some time in, you know, extra yeah. mile, and just for the record, yeah, that's, cool. that's Yhole.co.uk and Yhole.org.uk. So if you want to go and check out the mini games, that's yhole.org.uk. If you're looking for some out of game transactions for illegal substances in on the Mushroom Fleet server, that is uh, yhole.co.uk. And if you're interested in a little bit more, we've got a section dedicated to Yhole coming up uh, just later on. But I agree with you totally, mate. I, I didn't see that coming and it blew my mind when I saw that. It was great. It was amazing. Um, yeah, so the Imperium went and made their own uh, Google Plus as well, yep. and we're, we're getting that loaded up. So I mean, nice. you know, that's we, a good plan, that is. When, when people can just take it in stride and roll with it and have fun with it, I think that's a sign of a great community, and I, I'm happy to be a part of it. Mm. Like just remember, like you do decide to buy a white hole in these illegal sites, you will be confiscated when you try and come on the server by the Imperium. Yeah, assuming we find you, but we do find you. Always find you. <laughs> Never always. <laughs> we always know. We, we have stitches the on the payroll and cameras everywhere. Because like, like, it's, it's, <laughs> like, like I say, we have sort of grown our own little homegrown community from nothing over the last sort of six months. And it isn't the same as the... Uh, 
original you know it's not the same as going on to an official forum and i do feel bad sometimes because obviously they're very popular but that's an entire subject for another show so um i think we've only got we're running out of time on the uh, g plus so yeah make sure to go and check that out please comment g and plus one anything you're interested in and get involved and if you want to register to, to play all you have to do is post your ign in the register ign section so then um basically we're moving on to the shout out section um i'm just going to go through a brief list well this is the list as far as i'm aware if i missed you i'm ever so sorry and we're going to go from the first to well in fact we're just going to go from the top to the bottom and uh, these are taken in order of activity you could say from our fleet videos where we invite anyone who records on the server to post up their star made videos so first of all we've got gaming with saber then we've also got apex origin uh, our very own Ryben who's with us today we have uh, Skylord Luke who's on our test server as we speak I believe a mega cybran who is also joining us today uh, hello crack addict on parade which is the nefar nefarious i am kyle me who is also in the, in the studio uh we I'm have sorry i just have to laugh at that we have greg's plays <laughs> we have lego assassin 57 we have yelby of titan titan sphere and thunderdome fame we have joe daler we have jason kenny we have minecrafty style who i believe is phalanxia i'm not sure we have four planes, we have Beza, BCE Beza, we have Reaper, which is Rip, our very ad our admin of long standing, Anthony Marmount, Richard Rod Builder, Barnyard Bandits, Auriga City, Raging Potato, Incredulous Me 48, Cameron McCloskey, Mr. Devon Gaming, Ghost Liger 2, Prof Wildone, NHG, and of course a special honorary member is General Von Doom. So that's pretty much everyone I could see who had posted up. If anyone there is I've missed, I'm very sorry, but you just need to post up more videos so that we know who you are. <laughs> um, <laughs> and that being said, I hope that I said your name right. And if I missed you, I'm very sorry, but we really appreciate everything you're doing because we want to get as many people recording on here as we can. So, uh, yeah, that was a bit of a long, I know, a bit of a long shout out. But if anyone else wants to add to that, I don't have anything to add to that except that I would love to see, and I'm planning to do it, mind you. I'd love to see some more, you know how, well, Tom, you and I and Saber, we all do videos together a lot. Yeah. And I, I'd love to see, you know, so if, if anybody else wants to, you know, grow their community and stuff, jump on and, and produce a few videos first because you got to have a little bit of that background so that people can go back if they watch one video. Um, they, you want to let them watch more on your channel, just as a YouTube, yeah, show, uh, a bit of bit of help there. But you know, tell us, man, we'll we'll do videos with you. I mean, assuming you got something good to do it on, we're right there. Because we're an open community and we welcome all active YouTubers, and I'm sure there are plenty Definitely. of people that want to get a good experience, just in a safe environment to record, and that's basically what all of us are about here. Um, that's exactly it. It's probably the only discernible difference is the sheer number of YouTubers that want to record stuff. And it makes it a bit of a different motive behind what's going on on the server from day to day. It means there's a lot of variety yeah. in terms of events, a lot of opportunities to get on a lot of co-op events of all different kinds. So, But there you go. Like I say, it's just, just a little bit different, but also the same. So, you know, what have you got to lose? Don't do white hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Tom. We'll get we'll there. Get we'll there. get there. So I think that's pretty much finished that section off. So yeah, shout outs complete. Um, so now we move on to Nullsec. Now, bum, 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 bum. Nullsec is an interesting concept which we've obviously borrowed from another famous space game. Now, Nullsec, the concept is it's a PvP area. The way it's calculated is, if you see those numbers at the top of the screen, and they've all got minuses in front, so minus X, minus Y, minus Z, all three minus, triple negative, that's what we call null sec. So if you spawn at 222, set nav for zero, 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 and just keep flying, 
you're in null sec. As soon as you go through, through as soon as you've gone through zero, and all those ones are triple neg, you are in null sec, and that basically means anyone can kill you. It's our pirate space. It's infinite, yep. and there can be no disagreement about where it is. If it's like you know, if you're flying around and you see someone there, you need to kill them or run away. Okay and we will be spawning multiple random sectors full of uh, loot, loot rich pirate stations so custom seeding will be in place up to the 100 mark and you're welcome to claim sovereignty by putting your home base out there uh, and you can even claim these sectors around your home base if you wish and fortify them. Yep. Uh, we'll be using sector imports by submission so you can email them to us so there's, you don't even need to build it there. You can build it all in single player, email it, we'll upload it, we'll export it, and then you'll be on the list, and you'll still be there every time we have a reset or an upgrade. Um, but yeah, do you even know? <laughs> I will say um, it's a really cool concept, and a lot of people are scared to go in there. Um, and that being said, I think when we do add the extra pirates and the, the extra loot and all, there will be a lot more reason for people to go. Um, I enjoy cruising around in Null Sack, and I don't do it in God Mode, and I don't necessarily do it in, you know, a, a, a giant battleship all the time. But I, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think those people that enjoy stealth ships and stealth flying and stuff like that would, uh, would have a lot of fun in there. Definitely, definitely. Um, and so just to clarify, in Nullsec there are no rules other than you can't build a base in the 0 to 5, okay, so minus, so 0 to minus on all the numbers up to 5, it's like a buffer zone, you're not allowed to put a home base there, and the main reason behind that is because your turrets will actually shoot into Empire, which of course isn't allowed. Uh, obviously you need to deactivate your turret systems before coming into Empire, so there's no accidental wars killing people and so on. Um, basically you have to be very careful. If you're a PvP player, you have to take the risk that when you come out of that combat zone, if you're not in control of what's going on, you know, sometimes it's best to come in a shuttle, perhaps, with no weapons. You, know, you don't always have to fly around in your biggest ship with all your turrets. You can just leave it at home and just fly in in something cool, you know? So Yeah, I think... I think, and I hate to interrupt you, but yeah. um, as we are live, I think there was a really good question uh, posted by uh, Krovia, yep. um, which is, uh, what are the rules outside of Nullsec and Empire Space? And the basics, that, as far as I know, is you, there's no PvP out there, unless admin sanctioned, in that it's an event or something like that. But um, the reason that it needs to be admin sanctioned is that um, we can reimburse people if something goes horribly, horribly wrong. So yeah. if you guys go out into another sector and then end up accidentally kill somebody, we don't know, oh, they're PvPing. Um, they were just messing around or something like that. Yeah. And you're just going to you're gonna get a ban because that's where people are working on their work in progresses and things like that. Yeah. And, and that's we're supposed to have it safe. Now, pirates obviously are going to come in. That, that's just part of the game. But actual PvP outside of null sec is generally yeah. forbidden basically weapons hot in null sec no f no pvp of any kind in normal space we would even prefer that if you're playing with your buddy that you just take a little flight out to null because you can fly a long way and then go across the border and be in null and be very far away from people and then you're totally fine to fight and shoot each other and no one will ever have a problem with that um, because the thing is, you know, um, it's like we say, people will complain. Um, we have a lot of people recording, like I said, we just went through the list. I don't remember how many of them there were. I don't know if someone wants to give me a quick count. Quite a few. Um, but, but basically, At least 20. There's about 20 people actively recording and releasing their videos. So the last thing they want is some damage, which when they're offline and causing them having to start again. And, but uh, it's just a little thing, but this started as a recording server, so what we do is we give people null so they can do their PvP and they can live out in null and be far away from all of that, um, or they can do other things, which is, I think, what we're going to get onto now, one of the many things that you yeah. can do on our server. Um, why holes? 
like I say, oh. we, we touched on Y hole earlier, and that's very bad for your health. Um, but basically, the Y hole is a banned commodity on the Mushroom Fleet server. We decided to make it a controlled substance and illegal to uh, cultivate, process, or transport without mandate of Imperium, which is the biggest or one of the biggest uh, and most active roleplay factions on our server. Um, they just they've taken the responsibility on effectively it's like drugs you know um, if you're caught with them you'll be uh, you can be inspected you can have your ship destroyed for being a smuggler if you're caught selling them at a shop and the twist is why would you want to do that well they're a hundred thousand per Y hole and they grow on the purple planet so it's a really easy way to make good money um, yeah. In before Imperium that being said, <laughs> That being said, um, the Imperium does offer a smaller amount, of course, for dis uh, disposal. So if you bring the Imperium, if you say, yes, I have y -Hole, I'm bringing them to you, um, we will we will take that, and, and we will reimburse you a little bit. It won't be as much as you would normally get, but I think that's fair. And as you, uh, we'll and come as, pick it up and take it away. And as you would expect, the um, as you would expect in Nullsec, you can do whatever you want with your white holes, but you won't get the good yeah. prices until you come back to Empire. So it's a smuggling matter, uh, much propaganda, um, and uh, it's going to be very good when the farming uh, is well. Obviously, we may revisit how it or how we do this, but until now, this is how we're doing it. So, yeah. Yeah, Finally. I think uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's also worth noting that the empire has been um, uh, dormant until until uh, probably as soon as we're done testing the new server. Yep. The empire's been lying dormant for the most part. We've been doing a little bit, but we really haven't been pushing much. But um, there's a big been a big push to start criminalizing. Y hole uh, production, selling and possession, and so uh, brand new, a brand new push to uh, get those dirty scum Y hole dealers off the streets is happening shortly. Damn scum! I can't wait until there's a legitimate farming mechanic in this game where you can actually like <laughs> farm stuff because that's just going to bring so much more smugglers. I mean targets. I mean victims. I'm not, no, I mean citizens that we should arrest. Calmly and nicely, and not executing Nullsec. Well, lucky for you, it's <laughs> been confirmed as planned. So basically, we can wait for that and be very happy when it arrives. I would love to see regenerating terrain elements, uh, however it is implemented. Yeah. I, don't, I don't mind how. We'll just learn how to do it and do it. Um, but we must, of course, mention that there are. It's not just the Y holes. The Y hole nucleus is also banned because it is produced with and from, you know, that's refined Y hole. And then obviously, yeah, that's even worse. but there is, we're not just all about banning things. We do offer a cash crop to farmers to try and stimulate them off of the Y hole. And that would come in the form of ice grass. It looks just like Y hole, but it's frozen. <laughs> and the ice grass is wholesome. And as such, we're paying a subsidy to people that farm uh, ice grass. So if you have an ice grass farm and it's uh, within the specifications, and there's a video on that on the Mushroom Fleet YouTube, uh, you will be able to get yourself a nice cash uh, reward every week based on the size of your farm. So. Yep. Yep. That's it. And yep. it's based on the size and how pretty it is. To be exactly. Honest. Exactly. Um, and so obviously just uh, just to mention I think we've pretty much covered everything so if there's anything anybody wants to add otherwise we're done uh, thanks for listening yeah, guys that's yeah. it so yeah thanks for listening um, like I say this is going to be up on the SoundCloud and uh, if you go ahead and follow up there you'll be able to get those in the audible formats maybe released in other places so thanks for listening watching if you're watching it live um, and uh, yeah, we will see you all next time.